All right, we're having a Coke with SEC Commissioner Greg Sankey. Welcome in fresh off the golf course, which I've heard you're a four-time-a-week golfer. It's really four times a week. <laughs> Only during uh, football season, though. So, I, um, on 10, I bounced it off the side of the stands. Right, right. Um, and I was walking by, and I said to the fans, I said, you want me working on football issues, not playing golf. So By the way, we were on 10. Yeah, you were true. up there. Yeah, we yeah. were up there. I think yeah. I snuck through without letting you see that. So are you still on your, your running kick? That No. Okay, how many days do you make it? 502, consecutive. What made you quit? Work? I got like a really bad stomach thing out in the middle of nowhere. You I, don't want to do that. I was going to, I was going to, I soldiered through being sick a couple other times. I said, maybe this is a good point to stop. And then I just had knee surgery, so. Dr. Kane tuned me up, and re getting ready to go. So when do, you, sure. when do you go back out and run again? Uh, that's a good question. I ran some on Saturday. I was very sore Sunday, so we're just easing into okay. it. I'm doing okay. hour-long walks for the last few weeks. I'm not one who restrains himself well, so I'm trying to slow it down. Like what you, you don't sit still very often. What's like the longest we could get you to sit still? Well, in the summertime, like over July 4th weekend, I'll read a book. At one thing. sitting? You'll read a book at one sitting? Um, I've read like big books in, in like two days. <laughs> big like, big books. books. Yeah. Me and Dunaway are pop-up book guys. <laughs> uh, no. um, so I'll, I'll grab some time to catch my breath. Yeah. You know, as long as nobody expands this summer. The <laughs> that kind of ruined July 4th for me last year. Did you ever think we would live in a day? You know, we've talked to you about Texas and Oklahoma. You were the guy that hid it from us. SEC Media Days two years ago. I'm a little bitter about that. Ah, no, no, we're fine with it. He's but it up before. I, don't know. I am. I'm kind of a USC closet fan. Well, I'm not even gonna say. But I'm a USC fan, mm -hmm. and USC and UCLA going to the Big Ten just doesn't make sense. I've gotten used to the fact that Texas and Oklahoma are doing this. It's not gonna stop. I mean, ultimately, are we gonna get to four super conferences, and that's just gonna be the way it is? I don't know, and and you should, you would argue I should know, right? I should not necessarily. Know. I'm just I'm asking for a projection. Gut but here's feel. the reality. It's like people said, well, Texas and Oklahoma, nobody's ever going to wait four years. Well, nobody's ever waited three years for an announcement to join. So they're, they're exiting a year early. Um, and that's just these media rights agreements. So if you study when these TV contracts will cycle through, that's a better indicator, I've always felt, of when movement happens. Okay? So there's if, and then when, and then where. And you're really asking me, about where, which is if movement happens, will it all coalesce around a couple of conferences? Um, you know, that remains to be seen. I think my job is to, to you know, take advantage of opportunities to be prepared when they uh, present themselves. But, you know, whether somebody else moves or not, I don't know. I, I do think we are uh, the most attractive opportunity in a lot of ways. How, how much of the decisions or the business is actually done at the SEC spring meetings in Destin, or is that done beforehand and just formalized when you guys gather together as a conference down there? Both. There's a lot of work that's done outside of Destin. I just approved like the welcome letter, which is there's a celebration that takes place in the honor. Uh, what's happened in the prior year, we, we think forward more. So that's really not like voting business, but it is business. And because you have so many people together, there's a depth to that conversation that's different than the, the average athletic director meeting in, in October or the president's and chancellor's meeting in October. We do have some very specific things to take care of, and then you never know what may, may arise that week. So it's a combination of celebration of, of real business activity, important decision making, and then strategic thinking for the future. And I think that's a really important convening. I know this is a silly question, but as Texas and Oklahoma comes in, I mean, travel and hotels and small towns around the SEC conference. It's you, not the SEC conference. Well, you know what, it's it's the C conference. stands for conference, right? So yes. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just yeah. said the Southeastern right. Conference. Conference. Right. conference. Right. Right. And we're friends, so I can correct that's that. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. So around the league, I mean, traveling to Starkville for a game, or Tuscaloosa or Auburn, you know, it's not like traveling to larger cities sometimes. Do, do Texas and Oklahoma have like a, a liaison, a partner who can help with hotels and maybe lead them in a good direction? We start traveling teams around with the new teams in the league. First, when we added Missouri and Texas A&M, the fact that they travel to places like Oxford, Mississippi, and 
Nashville, Tennessee, and Athens, Georgia, you don't know how excited those fans were from those two universities, and the new universities will be, and you can make your own comparisons there. So I think they're fired up. Uh, they have, we've, we've actually had um, a contingent from Oklahoma and Texas and Birmingham in mid-December for two days, preparation and planning. Uh, they, they have, so Oklahoma, I've read uh, an article about the, the Norman Oklahoma City group and an o University of Oklahoma group traveling to some of our games this fall. And the University of Texas folks have said they want to go see what happens. And the cool thing is it's a wow factor still for them. Like, look at what happens in these communities around football games. It's not just a game. It is an event that's on the, the front end of Saturday and on the back end of Saturday. And uh, it'll be exciting to see fans travel to both of our new communities and then fans of those two universities travel to, to our 14 communities. What book do you have on deck? Next book you read? Uh, I'm, I'm in the midst of a book by uh, Admiral William McRaven, Lessons from the Bullfrog or of the Bullfrog. So the Bullfrog is the senior Navy SEAL, oh, yeah. which Admiral McRaven was. I serve on a board with him, so I've just met and listened a couple of times, and that's the one I'm in the middle of. And then uh, my friend David Platt, who used to pastor yeah. the Church of Brook Hill, you know, Stone Throw, he wrote a new book. So that's next in my queue. Okay, so I'm going to give it to Lance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After, yeah. I read, after I read David's book, I'm giving it to Lance. Is it thick? Hey, so, it no, no, it'll, it'll, it'll move along for yeah. us. Yeah. Sounds like a beach read. Um, okay, so we got to look at 24-25, the 12-team playoff format, how it's going to line out as far as the games. On campus, we're going to get a Friday night game. We're going to get three on Saturday, which is awesome. You swing a big stick. I know you're a humble guy, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna admit to that. But why do we continue to play these championship games on Monday when we could play them on a Saturday? Most people have to work on Tuesday. Monday's a really good TV day. One. Okay. Two. But, but can I, can, okay, okay. 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 Monday's a really good TV day. We know that. Two. You have to jump way outside of where the NFL will be, and there's been a lot of NFL movement. And a week, you could say, because the next question is, well, just play on the weekend between conference championship games, AFC, NFC, and the Super Bowl. And now you're into February with where they've moved. And uh, I think we'll be thoughtful, but we're not just going to jump to that. We, we spent a lot of time on the issue. Uh, the game will be played on, on what is a national holiday, a chance to honor MLK through that game on a Monday night in the future. And I think that's a, a meaningful opportunity. But but it's safe to say you guys are now the second most powerful TV product in the U.S. other than the NFL yes. is college football, correct? Yes. I did watch this Kraken Stars game last night. <laughs> by comparison. I, I, I hope you had the uh, Stars last night. I don't have anyone. I'm a Stars <laughs> fan. I, I used to own season tickets. So Every, me you having... Know, I'm just saying, like everybody, from every, you having apparently, <laughs> every time I go on ESPN.com, somebody's wagering, so you might as well, too, right? Easy, easy. Okay. Too <laughs> soon. <laughs> too soon. Well, I believe you can show me a business card that will tell you you shouldn't be. Guys. All right, having a coke with SEC Commissioner Greg saying you. Thank you, Greg. If you like that content and other content from the next round, remember to like and subscribe and give us the thumbs up.